Ooh, cold day here in the Bay Area. Cold start for the Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. It is, yeah, I said it, it's cold. It is not raining though, so that's good. But yeah, the Alfa Romeo, we're gonna take it to get the oil changed. So, as we do, we gotta hit up Phil's Coffee first. And I just realized I forgot Cholula at home. Hopefully they gave us some Cholula. Right, here we are, Phil's. All right, you know how I do it. Ambrosia of God, breakfast burrito, which we'll see in a bit. Hopefully Cholula in there. Oh, look, we got that new, was the 86 over there? Looking nice. All right, there we are, Maserati Alfa Romeo. And it's funny, the Navi kept taking me to Toyota. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't have a lot of Lexuses, but we're just Toyota, but come on, man. Ooh, okay. I had to park right here in front of Mercedes because there's this is my first time here. There is no parking at all. If you were coming here to buy a car, good luck. I mean, there's a couple of spots here that say customer parking, but yeah, there's like no parking here. Anyways, we'll see what's up with service. All right, look at this. We got the Julia Quadrifoglio. And yeah, my service advisor is gonna go talk to the manager because they are gonna see about honoring a coupon for $80 oil change. All right, let's see. Woo, there we go, better lighting. Okay, not gonna leave the car. Well, actually, I should probably explain what's going on. So yeah, Stevens Creek. Uh, they're nice, but you know, there's there's a coupon out there right now that says $80 for an oil change. They're nice enough to honor it, but here's one issue. They only have a certain amount of Alfa Romeo 4C text, and they're basically saying, hey, you have to leave the car. That's something I didn't learn until right now that I got here. You guys know I do videos with my cars. I, I You know, we got a drive coming up with the 4C. Yeah, I'm missing out on a good deal. I'm getting an oil change for 80 bucks on the 4C, but yeah, that wasn't in the cards, you know, and I'm not blaming them for it because, uh, you know, they're saying, oh, you could just leave it we'll honor the coupon and they were gonna try to get me an enterprise loaner not a alpha romeo loaner but yeah just because i need the car it's not gonna work out for me so because of that i'm not gonna do business with them and that's just a lesson learned with the 4c is like yeah it's a it's a it's a different kind of car it's very special so that means yeah you're gonna have to wait for the right people to work on it and yeah it's just a learning experience with it so with that i just wasted my time coming down here i wish they would have told me ahead of time that they were gonna have to keep the car also they said they saw in the notes that i said there was a coupon yet they still said no uh once i got here in person instead of just telling me through email ahead of time so why go through all that anyways yeah oh uh, last time you'll see me out here Ooh, bad lighting but all right that's lesson learned man there's a lot of fails this week a lot of fails with <laughs> with uh, my videos so yeah time to go phil's coffee in hand but yeah while we're at it let's check out some maseratis that one there don't know much about these but i wonder if they are similar to the stelvio man this thing's nice what does that say i can't even read that who reads cursive yeah really cool Ooh, look at those wheels there yeah super nice i was considering one of these before the 4c as well anywho there's my baby just sucks wasted my time all right stevens creek maserati alfa romeo just a couple of things to note for your customers let them know ahead of time if you have to leave your car also if there's something wrong with the coupon you see uh let me know ahead of time too yeah other than that have a nice day All right, get these rolled down. All right, I did have an idea, or I do have an idea, of where I could get an oil change for this car. Maybe I could do it myself, but the guys who installed my Capristo exhaust, they work on Lotuses. I know, that's not, that's not an Alfa Romeo, but maybe they can do an oil change. Not today, but since we're in the neighborhood, Let's see if I can get a quote. Ooh, check out this E46 M3. All right, doesn't look like the track spec guys are here. Maybe that's them right there. All right, yeah, it turns out, yeah, track spec was closed, but uh, the owner was there, the door was open, so I, I just went in and just quickly asked him about uh, doing the service on the 4C. Uh, yeah, he said, yeah, they for sure do it. Uh, and they quoted me around 250 to 300, so. Yeah, I forgot to ask Alfa Romeo what their regular price was. Uh, I mean, they would have done it with that $80 coupon, but I would have to leave the car there. I need my car 
uh, all, all that. So it's a, it's a shame, uh, you know, because I thought because Alfa Romeo, the dealership didn't mention me having to leave the car until I got there. Uh, you know, I'm so used to bringing a car like Lexus where you don't have to leave the car unless they find something major or, you know, or something out of the ordinary that needs to get done. And they usually give you a loaner car and you're on your way. Alfa Romeo didn't let me know until I got there just for a regular oil change. Uh, I guess it's not so regular with the 4C that it would need to stay. I offered uh, no loaner per se. I mean, they offered an enterprise car, but they said I'd probably be waiting a long time to get a car there. So, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what the regular price would have been at Alfa uh, Romeo to do the service. Track spec says 250 to 300. I would have to schedule it, of course. And knowing them, they'd probably get it to me uh, that same day. Or they would let me know ahead of time if I had to leave it. So, uh, maybe next month I'll bring it to track spec uh, I'll do some more digging see where else I may be able to take it the one thing I like about track spec and if you guys don't remember they're the ones if, if you guys are new to the channel uh, they are the ones that installed my Capristo exhaust they mostly work on Lotus you know, they work on a lot of Honda engines because they do the swap they do the swap on the on the engines for their Lotuses they go and race these cars so what am I going with this? Oh, what I like about TrackSpec is they're very organized, very clean uh, to their word, like, uh, and they have like a lot of pride in the work that they do. And so I had like a really great experience with them when they worked with me on uh, getting the Capristo exhaust put on. Uh, and they're not that far from home. They're like really, really close to home. So yeah, all positives. But for now, All right, keeping it Italian, we got a Maserati there with a pretty cool license plate. All right, we are back home. We meaning the Alfa Romeo and I haven't started the Ducati in two months. So maybe I'll just give that a nice little start for you guys. That was nice to start her up. It's been like months. So maybe tomorrow for New Year's Eve, I'll take her for a nice little ride. We'll see. But yeah, let's get back to the 4C and let's talk about our not so successful day with it. Not so successful day with the 4C. And it's not that, it, you know, things went bad. Like if I wanted to, the, I could have got the service at $80, which is a really good deal. Um, you know, they had to honor the coupon because they had already honored it for one of my friends. They didn't want to at first. They actually lied and said they've never done that before, which, you know, <laughs> I proved them wrong right there. So there was that. And then there's the fact that they didn't tell me until after they said it was okay to go with the coupon. Then they decided to tell me, oh, by the way, you have to leave the car for maybe one, two, all the way up until Monday. Uh, today is Thursday. Uh, you know, so there's that. And then I said, you know, that might not work for me. They asked, do you want to reschedule? I said, sure. Will you still honor the coupon? They said, no. So it's kind of like you either got to do what we say and, or you, you won't get the price uh, that they advertise. So that's all bad. So I already had trust issues with them there. Again, it, it wasn't horrible, but not great. Could have been way better because the service advisor admitted that they saw my notes when I scheduled it beforehand. Maybe when they saw the notes, they should have emailed me or called me right away and said, hey, we don't honor this coupon, blah, blah, blah. And we could have fixed that before I even arrived. Second, as soon as they saw the service scheduled, they should have then said, hey, by the way, we only have one technician. He's too busy. We either cancel the schedule or uh, let me know ahead of time that they need to keep the car for a couple of days. That none of, none of that happened. So, oh, and then they have no loaner car. If the car is staying there for a few days, you would think they would at least provide a loaner car. Now they did mention maybe getting me a rental car, but that's, you know, only after I mentioned it. I'm just so used to the service they provide like at places like Lex where you might not even ask for a loaner they'll just be like here's a loaner but even I've gotten a loaner from Lexus even for like a, a couple hours of work so and then just like the communication that we get from dealers like Lexus there you go could have gone way better so 
If you guys are familiar with the channel, you know my friend Bobby, he has the 996 Turbo. I had mentioned earlier in the week that we might see him and unfortunately I wasn't able to see him at the time that we were gonna meet up. That was that was on me, that was my fault. But I do have an update on actually on the 996 Turbo. Check out these photos right here. It is currently getting PPF wrap in this really, really nice, I believe it's called Military Green. Can't wait to see that in person. I think it already looks really good. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see Bobby again. And, and yeah, hopefully we'll have him and the 996 Turbo back in the channel really, really soon. All right, that's gonna do it for today for this vlog. Tomorrow, New Year's Eve, we're gonna end the year off with the same way I ended last year, you'll see. And then we'll start January 1st the same way. I start every January 1st, well, since I started vlogging, you'll see what I mean by then. And then, yeah, we got a, we still got videos coming probably all the way up until maybe Tuesday or so. And then go back to like our regular, like, you know, once a week, maybe twice a week videos. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to give that a thumbs up. Share with anyone that might like this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Happy New Year, and I'll talk to you guys next year. Or later. We'll see. Oh!